fun? Well, bordellos were the answer, and another industry started growing and helped to put cat chicken on the world map. And no place was actually more evident than that than Creek Street. It was built over the stream, and legend has it, approximately 30 bordellos were built there on the wooden stands over the creek. And why were they over the creek? Well, because, of course, it was, uh, it was and it still is, as, as far as I know, it's a, it was an illegal business on land. So if they, if they build it over the creek, they are not official on land, they are at sea. So they were not under the land laws. Very clever. Human nature always finds its way. Well, and nothing actually quite stopped this business. Well, actually, others naturally uh, related or actually will fool the business, and I'm referring to booze during Prohibition. So, and Prohibition was actually a nationwide legal ban on production, importation, transportation, consumption, of course, and the sale of alcoholic beverages from 1920 to 1933. Well, that didn't really matter for, for Creek Street, apparently. So during those hard times, bootleg whiskey was smuggled in and delivered at the high tide through trapdoors into the madam's floors. And this is actually shown here in this picture, which is a photo that I took to a, a documented image just outside of Dolly's house. And Dolly's house was until 1953 one of the most popular bordellos along the creek. Well, today just serves a, uh, as a glimpse uh, from, uh, of, those, of those colorful days. As the Dolly's house, it's now a museum where you can see old photos and memorabilia from that era, including Dolly's boudoir, complete with a brass bed, an organ with sheet music, and a hidden liquor cabinet. It's quite interesting. And just not far long, just behind the creek, uh, the creek street, well, you'll find this site, just a special trail for those ones who, for obvious reasons, could just not walk through the front door. But still, uh, if you're married or not, well, you're more than welcome actually to, to take this pleasant walk nowadays. It goes over the river, through the woods, and while well, you can hear these rowdy sounds of the Ketchikan Creek. Well, in the here, well, in the early 1920s, crowds actually came here to visit the speakeasies and the bordellos. Well, Creek Street now they just serves like as a as a reminder of Ketchikan's colorful history, and it's quite colorful itself. When looking at the houses, it's it's just a great place for you to walk around during your time tomorrow in port. And it's also now the heart of Ketchikan's shopping and art scene, where you'll find everything well from kitschy souvenirs to masterful native carvings. And uh, well, while we're there, I'm sure you will know, be looking for some action. Well, we'll find the summer run. Well, this PCS still comes up here to spawn. Well, Creek Street, and that is because Creek Street actually lays on an active stream of the salmon run. And salmon are now picking. They are now making their way home for spawning. So chances are that you might just see them uh, jumping the ladders located at the back end of Creek Street. Or if you actually take that Married Man's Trail, well, you will see that at the end of it. You'll be trying to jump up the rushing waterfall. And if you happen to be there, I was there last week, just, just be patient. The patience is a virtue, but at some point you will see them all like start jumping. And it's quite a sight, especially if you're looking for that photo opportunity to see the salmon jumping. And equally worth a photo, and just a couple of minutes from our dock, the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. So this is one of Ketchikan's most popular attractions, where during a one hour long, you will have the chance to see the skills and strengths of the professional Alaskan lumberjacks. And they are actually world champions. They are real athletes. This is an authentic competition. It's not a stage show, although it's quite fun. And there you will just be cheering for your favorite man, sorry, for your favorite team, and as, as they will just, com just compete uh, in some events such as tree climbing, ass throwing, log rolling, and just wood shopping.